Hey guys, it's Les. It is Saturday, August 31st, and I have just smoked half a bowl of um, strawberry amnesia, and I feel like talking, so I'm gonna talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, anyways, like I said, Saturday, August 31st, 2024, which works out to an 11, four day, oh, 11, well, that probably explains why I'm, uh, okay, and four, law and order, hard work, oops, we'll work on the four after we get through the 11 today, okay, I promise, anyways, I still want to talk about the 28, because, um, actually, I posted another video with an update yesterday, and I'm looking at the, um, thumbnail for it, number one, there's an adding error, I mean, like, like I said, sometimes for a 33, I, I, I just, anyways, long story short, it's only a dollar, I gotta stop saying that, because with me, there is no such thing as a long story short, um, what I wanted to say is, if you notice on the 28th, um, I hit, or Gary hit, I hit, um, like I said, I bet wrong, but, uh, I hit six out of nine, so, um, 33% didn't get it, and then on the 29th, um, I only hit one out of the three, and there's your, well, 33 again. Like I said, 33s are everywhere around me. I just can't explain it. So I did end up winning, I think it was, what, $671. Clear. In the clear. So, you know what? I want to look back in a couple years in my, in 2026, I want to be able to look back and laugh. <laughs> because by then I want to be winning big <laughs> also in 2026 I'm sure I'm also going to be looking back and regretting <laughs> wearing an undershirt in my video <laughs> oh well <laughs> as for now don't care oh but here's what I wanted to um share with you um did I want to say anything else about the 28th oh uh, yeah, be careful because I think the, the scammers are really starting to come out. Uh, I had somebody three days ago on the 28th named Gary Grinberg follow me on Facebook. Um, I think I may have reposted one of the shorts or something. Um, now Gary lets a lot of people repost his content. He has no problem with that. Um, I don't know if that's changed, but, uh, I don't think it is. Um, anyways, like I said, just be careful. Uh, and, and he hit, hit me up for a reading and I'm like, yeah, my Gary doesn't hit people up for readings. I had to hit him up for a reading. Anyways, so there's my little bit about that. Um, starting to come out a bit more myself. I'm getting, I'm pretty much down the long stretch of this nine personal year. Um, so I'm starting to get back into the groove um yeah so that's all i want to think i want to say about that as for the sports betting um oh by the way when i started sports betting i was doing like eight dollar bets so <laughs> i'm up to 28 now <laughs> um but yeah i'm very happy with it it's funny when i was a kid my parents had a um a, a little slot machine toy actually it was pretty cool though it wasn't like a rinky dink one and I played with it every so often um I mean it gave you all the coins to play with it um but my friends would want to play with that stupid thing for hours like I even go into a casino people are just I think that's how you uh identify an NPC <laughs> not a fan of casinos myself um, anyways, what, uh, yeah, so that was the 28th. We'll see what happens on the next 28th. What else did I do? Actually, let me have a look. Make sure I, make sure I, uh, I, uh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, Gary re re revealed the death code. 
on the 28th too. He's really going. Um, ba -ba. Oh yeah, and another thing too, yesterday I mentioned about setting up my printer because it was, I was going to start my new printer because it was a one, three day. Fortunately, tomorrow is a three, five day, so I'm going to change my printer. That's the good thing. Uh, numerology is very forgiving. There's usually another one coming up very soon if you, if you um, don't get whatever done. But yesterday was a complete disaster. Um, I have to watch my mouth. <laughs> being, I guess it's being a 33, I'm starting to learn about how easily we manifest things and it makes so much sense. And, uh, yeah, like for instance, I can tell you how, how easily we can manifest. And I never knew this, like, this is a whole new world to me, but that's why I said everything makes sense. So, here's my story about manifesting. Uh, when I was a kid, um, my parents had a trailer that we went to on the weekends. And every so often, I would have a friend up to stay for the weekend. Um, and I can remember, like it was yesterday, I was walking with her. And she can verify, verify this story. We were walking along the grasses to go to the store and I was telling her I said you know what as long as I've been here I've never been stung by a bee right that second I actually stepped on a bee I have a lifetime of such weird weird things like I said this is Maybe I survived that 30 years of psychiatric mind bending because nobody in their right mind could handle what I've been through or what I experience or what I've experienced organically for 56 years. Hey, I haven't had to pull a Kleenex in a while. <laughs> um, so manifesting yes now i remember mentioning a couple of weeks ago about the guy i dated and the only reason i thought he was came into my life was to teach me about like pot and how to you know smoke it and bongs and how to you know clean them and stuff well i'll be damned uh i didn't get a message on my phone and this has been after about eight years since I blocked him well actually it was probably it was probably about closer to five years because I have a new phone <laughs> and I forgot to block him on it anyways uh yeah out of the blue hey how you doing now funny enough he is a horse as well and he starts off with hey <laughs> like I often do because I used to pissed me off and now I'm doing it myself never did that when I thought I was a six goat I'll tell you so yeah he pops up in my uh, messages and uh, I wasn't sure because you know I had just put out that letter to my ex uh, which I still haven't heard from I don't expect to um, I've never tried to give back money so hard in my life. <laughs> but um, I have that money dog tag for something else. I've tried three times. I think that was more enough time. Um, yeah. So anyways, no, this, this guy, um, it was the guy who taught me about the pot. And you know what? I did have a, such a fun time. It was a chaotic time, but uh, it was an exciting time. Uh, dating him. Anyways, he was like a new fee and all that. We had the Jigs dinner and it really family oriented, uh, which is what I like. So, um, yes, I have to watch what I say and what I talk about uh, because yesterday, the appointment at the hospital that I have a real hard time going to the appointment was a disaster. Well, the appointment wasn't a disaster. We got there, everything was good. 
um, plenty of time. They were going to take her right in, and I took him around and took a couple pictures, which I will really try to either insert here or tag on at the end. I know I said that yesterday about something and I forgot. But anyways, I took a couple, took him around while she was in there, took a couple pictures. He was handsome as usual and chatting with people. Uh, Friday afternoon of a long weekend, everybody's in a good mood. Um, and then suddenly I realized my purse felt awful light and I couldn't find my phone. Not, the, not this one, this one I just tape and stuff. This was my old one, my new phone. Couldn't find it. Panic, absolute panic. I couldn't get to my mom because I wanted to use her phone to try to find, uh, start calling mine. I went out to the car. I had to actually I retraced all our steps because of course I had him outside to go potty. Finally got back to the car. I looked under my seat. It's not there. And I looked everywhere in the bags. Now, by this time, I had also lost his cloth for his drool, which I bring everywhere. One of these face cloth. So I was really getting uh, in a mood. And I run back inside, talk to the girl. She tried calling the phone. She said it's just ringing. So I thought, well, that's a good sign. But I was worried because I had him out to potty back here at the apartment out in the back. And I thought, oh my gosh, if anybody there gets a hold of my phone or if anybody in the nut, oops, I shouldn't call it that, uh, the hospital, um, um, I just went blank, finds it, I am screwed. Um, so anyways, panic. Got mom out of her appointment. Of course, she was chatting it up with the technician. <laughs> you know where I get it from. And, uh, oh, then I had her in a tizzy. We got in the car, then realized we hadn't paid for the stupid parking. Anyways, ran back inside. And I'm dragging him behind me. I'm not even, I'm not even balancing off of him. I'm just, um, uh, and got back raced back to the apartment, checked outside everywhere I had him. No. So while the car was parked outside, looked under my seat, no, and my mom says, here it is. It was under her seat. Oh my God. I cannot tell you. I felt like such a shit the way I was driving home and my poor mom. <laughs> I had no, I couldn't even ask her about how it went. I just, pff, coincidentally, <laughs> I almost had a nervous breakdown at the same place my father had one when I was a kid. Oh my gosh. Same intersection. Life is a trip when you're 33. So yes, I really have to watch what I say. Positive, positive, positivity only. Um, oh yeah, also, I'm so I'm trying to kind of close out this phone. The um, memory card's uh, pretty much full. The phone is pretty much full. Got a new one started up. So I'm probably going to try on the end to tack on. Yeah, I think I'm going to tack on a couple of clips. One is of that guy walking the black Kane Corso that looks like a panther. Oh, I mentioned that a few videos back. Um, such an awesome dog. And like my, mine just lumbers along, uh, which is fine. I'm, I'm easy going. Um, what else? Oh, my fountain. Or I might even do a little separate video for that. My, my fountain that I used to drown out my tinkling pipes for a month. I made a, a couple little videos about that. And like I said, I'll probably put on some pictures at the hospital yesterday that I took of him. And I don't know, maybe I'll surprise you with something else. Can't think of anything else right now. Um, oh, also, I wanted to kind of share with you. I know. Oh yeah, on the 28th, oh, I'm back to the 28th again. And I know I'm looking on the wrong spot on this phone because it's on such an awkward angle. 
On the 28th, I bought 28 grams of strawberry amnesia. So, um, I usually also try to maybe withdraw, uh, you know, 280 bucks. Um, oh, <laughs> my mom did transfer $2,800 to my account for some things. And uh, so, yeah, I had waited to do that on the 28th. Um, forgot about that. I just do little quirky things. Maybe it's, maybe it's the Asperger's. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Oh, and like I said, I joined Q on the 28th. I did something else on the 28th. Oh, I'm going to feel so silly when it comes to me. Um... Yeah, but also when we were at the store, I got one of these cool little things. It's called a six shooter. Where, where did it go here? And now I know Gary would scoff at this, but like I said, I'm kind of a yin to his yang or whatever. I know he smokes nothing but the best, but I'll tell you what, you don't know what the best is if you haven't tried to do it yourself. So I... um got this little thing. I'm kind of getting into the cones now and I put a little bit of the keef on as well. Um, so yeah, I don't even know why I started talking about that, but, uh, so there you go. I think that's all I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty high right now. So I just wanted to tape this and get out of my inhibitions a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to feel ridiculous when I release this. Anyways, it's a long weekend. It's the last long weekend of the summer. And uh, I'm really rambling now. Okay, 504 on the side. Over and out. So this is the little fountain I got myself to drown out the rads that were tinkling for over a month. Uh, I know I mentioned it a while ago, um, but yeah, I really do like it. <laughs> Beautiful day. It really is kind of peaceful out here. There's lots of people though. Come on, give us some good bangers over there, guys. Ooh, that's a nice looking dog. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> What do you think of that? Hey? It's part of our trying course. Beast. <laughs> Don't forget to believe, dream, sparkle, cherish, and shine. <laughs>